Hey guys, uh, welcome to your bonus energy check-in for Cancer. This is going to be for your August, for the rest of your August 2023. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements uh, because this reading can be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, so we're going to just go look at your energy check-ins, okay? For the rest of August and then we will see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in uh, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. It sounds like a garbage truck out there. I'm so sorry, you guys. If you guys don't know, I live in New York City, so I have the windows open. It's a very noisy place here. If you guys uh, don't know, I can't control the noise. Um, if it's annoying to you, you guys could click off. Um, I won't be offended. Uh, hopefully the mic is not picking that up. Uh, I don't know what they're doing out there. Yeah, today is not even the garbage pickup day, so I don't know what's going on out there. Uh, tell me about cancer. Energy check-in for cancer. Energy check-in for cancer for the rest of August 2023. For cancer. For cancer. For cancer here. We have the Six of Pentacles here. We have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're not, you're learning not to give too much too quickly or too easily, or just to give too much in general, because I feel like you're realizing that you're being taken advantage of that. Yeah, you're realizing that you're being taken advantage of that, and I feel like you're kind of like stepping away from that, you know? And I feel like you're trying to protect yourself here. So Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. I mean, there could be someone here that's coming back to apologize here too for maybe breadcrumbing you here and perhaps you don't want to hear it. Yeah, I do feel like there's someone here that's wanting to have a conversation here with you, but you don't want to have a conversation with this individual. One of the things I'm also getting here is that Cancer, you guys might be getting a new job offer here and I feel like they might not be paying you enough here, okay? I feel like they're paying kind of like a fair amount, but I feel like you're looking for more here. And I feel like you realize that you are worth your price here. And I feel like you might not accept this job offer here because you feel like you're getting lowballed. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Eight of Pentacles uh, and the Star card. Look at that. Some of you guys are definitely mastering your gifts here, I feel. Mastering your craft here. Especially when it comes to your intuition, your psychic abilities here perhaps astral traveling, whatever that might look like to you. You know, I do feel like some of you guys are definitely, this is so interesting, some of you guys might interpret dreams or something like that as a job. Or you could do it on, you could do it on the side here too. Yeah, you could do it on the side here too. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles here. I have no idea what's going on out there. We have the High Priestess. Cancer, Pisces here. Knight of Cups. And the King of Pentacles. Some of you definitely wants to come back and speak with you here. Whoever this is, I feel like this person did hide a lot here from you. I do feel like this is like some here that's very romantically interested in you. But I feel like this person didn't really share a lot with you. And I feel like it really stressed you out. And now I feel like you don't even want to talk to this person here. Because I feel like you just don't have the energy for it. Yeah? So it seems like this King of Pentacles is trying to come back to you here. The Page of Pentacles, the Justice card, Libra energy here, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Wands here. Some of you guys could be pursuing legal action towards someone here that could have taken something, something from you. Yeah, such as money or something here. Okay, I did see a ton of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck before. It could be some sort of inheritance here. Okay, the Moon. 
We got the Wheel of Fortune here, the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Cancer, things are about to get a whole lot better here. Yeah, uh, it seems like, you know, luck is turning in your favor here. I do feel like there is happiness here and fulfillment. You know, it could be an indication that, you know, someone here might have, you know, if it's not a legal issue here, someone here is coming back and they could be learning their lessons here and they want to work on building a ton of cups here with you. Okay, let's see what else we have here for uh, Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know? Look out for work on here for um, the rest of August 2023 for Cancer. Death card, Scorpio energy. We have the Six of Wands here. Someone here is coming coming back really confident that they have changed here. I mean, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could also be a friend or a family, a family member here that you've lost touch here with. Yeah, let's see. the uh, What else do we have here? We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords here. It seems like someone here wants to provide you information or knowledge about, you know, some sort of chaos that they caused here. Because I feel like you've been curious to know, like, why this person did the way that, uh, did, uh, did what they did here. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, I do feel like maybe this is a long way to conversation where this person will provide you some sort of information, some sort of knowledge to provide you with clarity of here, of, of what happened here. Yeah. We have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Three of Wands here. So one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you could be looking towards the future here. You know, kind of like letting bygones be bygones here. You know, uh, obviously if someone here is apologizing, you know, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're hoping that there's going to be changed behavior here, you know. But I do feel like here, uh, someone here is definitely making some big changes or that someone here has made some big changes here. The death card here and the devil in the reverse. Yeah, someone here is like uh, letting go of codependency. If this person had control issues or something like that, this pers person has worked on releasing that. If this person has some sort of drug issue or some sort of drinking problem here, that you know, this this is being released here. Okay. And yeah, it seems like this person could have gone through some sort of rehabilitation here too. The six of wands here, the ten of swords in the reverse. Yeah, whoever this is, this is an individual that's definitely coming in with an apology here, trying to make things right here with you. You know, they're they're definitely investing and you know doing everything that they can to show you to prove you that they've changed here okay uh tell me the four of pentacles here we have the king of wands king to queen of wands here with the eight of cups here this is so interesting you know i do feel like you're gonna have this conversation with this individual but i feel like you're gonna walk away from this individual here yeah, you're going to walk away from this individual here. I feel like you've changed as a person here or that you moved on or that, you know, since you left this person here, you found a purpose in life here. And I feel like this person doesn't really have a space for you uh, for uh, you don't have a space for this person in your life. The three, uh, the queen of pentacles here and the six of cups, the three of wands here and the two of pentacles here. You're not really quite sure whether you want to take this on or not. OK, allow this person back to your life. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you might need some space to think about it or that you're just going to let it go for now and move on. You know, I do feel like an apology will be accepted here. But yeah, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.